In this week's quick tip, we're going to be talking about how to properly eject media from your Mac. Have you ever been using your Mac and gotten this message before telling you that the disk you just removed was ejected improperly? Well, what that means is that different media that you plug into your Mac uses the power from your Mac to get information from that flash drive, external hard drive, or other devices that you may plug in. If you were to just rip the device out of your computer, it can possibly damage the information on it. So you'll always want to do a process called eject before just pulling that flash drive or hard drive out of your machine. There are two different ways that you can eject a device. First is you can locate it on your desktop and simply drag the icon down to your trash can. But if you notice, there's no longer a trash can down near the bottom. There's what they call the eject symbol, which looks like a triangle pointing up with a bar underneath of it. Simply drag the device over that and let go. When it disappears, you're safe to remove the device from your Mac. The other way to eject a device is to open up the Finder, that very first icon in the lower left-hand side of your dock, and scroll down to Devices. Each device that you can eject will show that same little eject icon next to it. When you click on it, that item will disappear, and the same, you're safe to remove it. This even works with CDs and DVDs. So I can hit the eject button on that, and out pops my CD. Other items, for example, like your iPhone or iPad, don't necessarily need to be ejected. Because they have a battery inside of them, they're powering the information going back and forth to your Mac. I hope you enjoyed this week's quick tip, and now you'll no longer get those nasty messages anytime you go to remove a device.